Hey guys, hope I'm catching you all on a great day and welcome to another Q Money P bill video. Before we get into the bill, I just want to go ahead and thank you all because we actually made it to over 100 subscribers and that's within a month's time. Uh, this page has been around for a while, but I haven't started producing videos and focusing on it for the last month. So to say that growth has happened within a month, I definitely appreciate you guys for that support. It means a lot, guys. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the bill. This is the Heat Seeker bill, guys. Uh, it is a Phoenix bill. There are plenty out there so i wasn't too anxious to go ahead and start this one out but i was able to find a few ways to make it unique fun and op okay so one of the main things we're going to be using is our shield we're going to be hurling it at enemies causing explosions when we come into contact with them hence the name the heat seeker because we're going to be throwing it around and causing explosions like rockets another place in the build where i get the name from we're going to be sending fire elementals out to seek enemies and cause explosions guys are going to be adding fire stacks and it's definitely going to cause heavy damage and inflicting ailments another high highlight of the bill is weak points guys we must have weak point damage because when actually when we hit enemies on a higher level they won't necessarily explode right away but if we set up enough weak point and we hit that we're actually going to treat it like a match and ignite them as soon as we hit that weak point guys okay so now let's go ahead and take a look at the detail stat sheets if you take a look you can see all our resistances are at 60 uh definitely recommend getting them pretty high you don't have to have them that high but for survivability purposes i recommend trying to get them that high also look take a look at the weak point damage so we have ours at 329 I actually was able to get it at 650 at one point guys but the higher the weak point damage is doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna function so this is plenty high enough for what we needed to do all right let's go ahead and look at our first weapon guys which is retribution the primary reads whenever we soul shatter an enemy we summon a fire elemental the fire elemental seeks out enemies and explodes dealing fire damage equal to 50 percent of the soul shatter damage dealt okay guys so when we soul shatter an enemy we could use a normal heavy attack that will work but we get more damage from our fire elemental if we do a southern technique or a polarity hit with that soul shatter guys all right now secondaries there are ailment power and ailment duration we want to be looking out for ailment power ailment duration rampage bonus damage and weak point damage guys on our first page those, those are the main things we're going to want to have all right next we have a kashim span definitely want this because the primary reads we get 103 percent ignite power whenever you hit an enemy that's not afflicted with ignite so the best place i found to use this is that whenever we're doing a polarity attack and switching over with the enemies that don't have ignite on them it actually causes them to explode fairly easily guys so this is great for that okay next we're going to be using the kaida as you guys saw we have all our resistances capped out so this is definitely going to help us out in this area so you know the primary here for each capped resistance we get 22 percent shield charge speed and 23 percent shield damage and being that we're not going to be using lion talisman this is going to help us spam shield throws we're going to be able to inflict ignite with the shield so this is definitely going to help us out whenever we don't have our weapon tech maxed out we won't need to really worry about weapon tech as much guys okay so we're going to be using the infinity fragment so everyone knows that primary whenever you defeat an ignited enemy it causes an explosion but the key here is shield throws inflict ailments so being that we have that and we have the kaida we're going to be able to spam those shield throws as i mentioned before since this is a might item you want to look out for fire damage if possible you could look out for ailment power as well but definitely want weak point or rampage bonus damage on this as well and it's pretty much a must to have the dust lord signet we need those weak points exposed as much as possible so we could go ahead and hit them especially when we get to enemies that are like at 100 level guys uh won't be able to it cause them to explode with just one hit by hitting those weak points is going to cause those explosions right afterwards okay and another must is the eye of the dragon because we want this for our survivability guys uh this is how we're going to go ahead and get our overhelp so this is definitely a must okay and for our lifestone we're going to be using the high court soul gem this is going to help us out with our weak point damage guys but you could replace this with the restorative sun drop to increase our fire damage uh we won't be using something like the archon's tier because there's not much crit hit chance we don't have that contributing in anything so it wouldn't help us out at all okay let's go ahead and take a look at the augments first i'm going to be showing you the might augments i'm going to start off with foreboding reach so this one is going to give us four percent rampage bonus damage for every might we have on adjacent augments we got it up to 76 percent we want that for a reason we're actually going to be using the rampage bonus damage to boost up our weak point so with that let me just go ahead and show you the other augment we're using which that is charging lion so the primary here reads 100 percent of our rampage bonus damage will also increase our weak point damage so that's why we're trying to boost up that rampage bonus damage so we can go ahead and boost our weak point and we won't need anything like surety or anything to make sure our weak points are high 
high end impact. And by the way, we have our secondaries as weak point damage and element power here, but definitely you want to look for fire damage and weak point damage on all mites if possible. Uh, whenever you can't, you can substitute that with something like element power like I've done, but definitely you want to look out for fire damage and weak point damage. Next might augment, of course, we have the Kindle Core because 100% of our fire damage bonus and our fire resistance is going to increase our ignite power. So we definitely want to boost out that ignite power as much as possible. So our secondaries here, of course, as I mentioned, we want that fire damage and that Elma power. So we got lucky with this one. And for our last might, is going to be the Solar Bliss. This is going to give us pure ignite power, guys. It's going to negate our duration, but that's why we got duration on some other items. I'll go ahead and show you that in a sec. But we definitely want to go ahead and get this one. Our secondaries, as I mentioned, we got that weak point damage and fire damage now let's get to the vitality augments of course we're going to need their presence of mind this is going to give us a boost with our resistances that's how we got it up that high especially since we're using the kaida but the secondaries is what you want to look at you want to get that elma power if possible you want to get that elma duration and resistances to all if you're unable to get there with the, by other means you want to throw resistance to all in there as well and our next vitality is real we don't have to dive too much into that this is just going to help us out with our damage but secondaries we have there are fire damage and resistance to all and the last vitality we have is 42. We're going to need that for survivability. Secondaries we have there are overheld gain and resistances to all that overheld gain that will help us we need to invest a little bit in that to survive. Okay, and the first shield augment we're going to be using is Black Seed. I went ahead and used this one because I was looking for something with ailment duration and it also has uh, perks where it could boost our build abilities. So that's why I went ahead and went with that one. The secondary, another secondary I have on it is Vitality. It's going to help us out with our presence of mind. But really, if you see another spirit augment, you want to put in that place it's fine i recommend one that boosts out your shield but anyone you see fit would be fine there just look for those secondaries and last we have is primal energy this is going to give us over health with our lifestone again this one is not necessary but those secondaries we have i wanted which was fire damage might not so much but we definitely wanted that fire damage and that is it for the heat seeker build guys definitely hope you enjoyed that one it is a fun build as i mentioned it is op you shouldn't have any problems uh doing a, a full tower run going level 30 with no boons as i've done um definitely should be able to handle anything and tankiness is there you can actually make it a little bit more tanky if you have other items but being at 60 percent resistances should suffice but as always let me know what you guys think let me know what you would change on a build definitely go ahead and shoot some comments about that guys as always i want to engage and get your ideas on it see if you have anything you would change uh, if you have any ideas or requests for other bills definitely go ahead and throw it down there i did two bills that were requested in the comment section so don't hesitate to do that uh definitely again hope you guys enjoyed the video i want to thank you guys again one more time for helping us get to over 100 subscribers if you aren't subscribed uh definitely hope i could earn your subscription in the future guys it definitely does help out uh again i hope you enjoyed the video and you all have a great day Thanks.